Hey, ba welcome back to Mobility Wad. Uh, we're just debating the merits of needing spray tanning. Is that appropriate or is that an ergogenic aid? Because a man who feels better about himself actually does go faster, doesn't it? And that's what happens. Matt Chan, maybe you recognize him from his quads and his white quads, <laughs> endeavor across the verve. And uh, what we want to do today is we, we promised uh, we promised the people a kind of continual primer about how to use the, the mobility wad or the uh, voodoo floss bands. What we're going to show you today, I don't even know if these are long enough to wrap around those quads, let's be honest. <laughs> like, what is that? It's gushy, man. What the heck? But sometimes one of the things that happens is our athletes complain of this patellar ligament getting a little bit sore. And one of the mechanisms, I, I, I have like quad insufficiency syndrome there, bro. So what ends up happening is that this quad, when it gets a little bit hot, I've been jumping, knee landing knee forward, engaged in a lot of power clean like things, that I, it's easy to kind of smoke this tendon a little bit. This fat pattern here gets a little bit scarred down or it gets a little bit gross, not scarred down, but inflamed, and it's hard to sort of pull that infrapatellar fat pad away from the, uh, from the tendon. So here's what we're gonna do. Technically, it's a ligament, I know people. So we're gonna, this is our fix for a little bit kind of patellar femoral syndrome, people having that distal quad tendon problem, quad ligament. So first thing, we're just gonna go ahead and wrap that guy around to the base of the kneecap here. And I'm gonna go, there's the base of his kneecap. I'm gonna try to put about 50 to 75% stretch into those tissues below the kneecap. I'm just gonna keep taking up slack. And it's a lot of tension, yeah? Yeah, a little bit. Good. <laughs> if you, can't, you can't completely, you know, contain him. He'll bulge out. But uh, the issue is that I wanna create some, ten some really some decent tension right in those areas. So this would be step number one if you've got a band. So go ahead and clean this up in there, and then go ahead and perform some squats. And you feel it. it's pretty tight there, yeah? Yeah. It's oh, it's tight. But what's happening now is that we're basically opening up all of this connective tissue, and we're really going to ferret out that, that fat pad away from the tendon, and we can really get a lot of good blood flow. And it's, it's a little bit grindy in that bottom position. Good. Hangs out. Now, if we need to take him to level two, we're not afraid to go above the kneecap too. You're not position. afraid. Not afraid. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> and I'm just going to go above the kneecap. Same idea. Try to just take the pressure and tension across the tissues I'm trying to change. <laughs> and then just tuck that bad boy in. And now, go ahead and squat again. How's that feel? Yeah. That's what's up. I don't know if I can squat. Now, we've actually, <laughs> you can squat. And we've actually had this done with our, so our powerlifting friends have been doing this under large loads. But this is a really excellent way to really open up the top and bottom tissues. And then, again, how long can I hang out here? This certainly feel like you could do one at a time. Both together is really going to demand a lot of those tissues and pull that out. If you feel like this is causing too much compression in the knee, keep the shin vertical. You would squat by holding up against the bar. So you can hold the bar and really verticalize the shin. Excellent. And verticalizing that shin allows to kind of remove some of that translatory force and can get pure rotation there. So tell, let's dismount from that. Unless you want to go longer. Nope. You sure? <laughs> I'm good. Where's the end? Oh, <laughs> we know where the end is. I'm a professional person. Please, please. Give I've never wrapped a man's quad before. I'm trying to be the dude wrapping the quad of another dude. So if you're trying to get in there, this is one of our favorite ways. We've uh, we worked on the barbell kind of super patellar couch. We uh, uh, the flossing there. Go ahead and squat again, man. You see, there's no difference side to side. Difference? Yeah. Go ahead and squat again. And it's actually your right knee is further out. Shove your right knee out. We'll go further. And just by giving him a little bit more room in that bottom position, this gives him options. Can you see that on the camera? That this this knee is out in a little bit better position. What does that feel like in range? Do you notice the difference in terms of? It's not, I'm definitely not as tight on this side. Like it, it feels like a free range. <laughs> and what about, what about through range? What about your range? Any change in the way that feels? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, that pain, it doesn't feel junky. Ah, junkiness out. So anyway, there's an idea. Don't be afraid. Hey, you know, if you can wrap everything all at once and then just perform one full body snatch, I think we can fix humanity in a single moment. <laughs> Matt Chan, Cross with Verve, check us out when you're, uh, you're in Denver. We'll see you guys tomorrow.